How you feeling? Dude, I'm on like two hours of sleep. So last night we slept in the car. I probably passed out at like 12. Thank God Brian kept driving. We got to this spot at about 2.30 in the morning. What time is it? Six, five? No, uh, six. 6.20. 6.20, we slept in my Toyota Corolla. It was absolutely miserable. But we're gonna show you guys just how we set up, what our settings are, what equipment we'll be using, and how we're gonna get our shots today. Guys, so right here, we got an external shutter remote. It pretty much allows me to do something called a bulb exposure, which is essentially a shutter speed that is however long you want it over 30 seconds. And the reason I have this is because I have my ND1000 filter on, and as you can see my camera it is pitch black right now. But with this ND1000 and this time of day, I'm definitely gonna have to probably do like a minute long exposure. But because of that, I'll get to get really nice streaks in the cloud. So I'll probably do over 30 seconds. I pretty much push this up and then let it go as long as I want. And at the same time, I'll be running my timer. And then whenever I want it to be done, I'll just stop it. So I'll probably try 45 seconds. If it's still too dark, I'll do a minute and then I'll just keep going up until I get the right exposure. And as the light gets better, I'll keep on doing it in hopes that I can get some nice yellow streaks in the clouds. Alright, so looks like we missed the sunrise and never really popped pink or orange. Oh, two of the drums, let's see what we can do. So we just put up the drone, there's a lot of shadows, a lot of uh, just blue, didn't look that good, but um, now we're just going to sit here and pretty much wait for the sun to come up more to light this up and then we'll launch one more time. All right, what is up guys? So after sleeping in the car and doing a nice sunrise mission at Shoshone Falls, I'm just gonna go through and edit two photos for you guys just so you can see how these photos kind of come to life. Uh, this first one I'm gonna edit is a drone photo and it doesn't include the waterfall at all. It just has these really unique rock kind of sculptures um, that I had actually never seen photos of before. I've seen like a few photos of this waterfall in Idaho, but Nothing of the surrounding rocks and almost canyon-like uh, place is just really cool. Um, I do know that this is going to be a pretty simple edit. I did edit this um, about a week ago, and there wasn't much I could do. I'm not sure exactly what it was. It, there was The sunrise was cool, but for some reason the colors weren't that great, and the light wasn't that great either, surprisingly. I don't know how, but anyways... For this, I'm going to start pretty simple, just kind of do my base Lightroom edit, as you guys have seen if you've been on my channel before. So highlights down, shadows up, whites up, blacks down, and contrast down. I'm going to crank the saturation quite a bit, just because I want there to be some really nice yellows, greens, and oranges in this. A little bit less on highlights. And I am going to bring up the clarity just a little bit, so the rocks really come through. And then, not going to touch the tone curve. I'm just going to come into HSL. I think I want the yellows a little bit more towards orange. And I think the greens just a little bit deeper of a green. And then I'm going to saturate the yellows and oranges because overall that'll 
saturate most things in this photo because in this photo, kind of the color palette follows the same few colors. And I don't want the whole photo to look too saturated, but if you just touch the oranges and the yellows, it does a good job of like subtly saturating without it kind of looking too saturated, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna just mess with the luminance, see if that does anything I'm, I like. I think I, I like it a good amount when the orange luminance, luminance is up. Let's see if I wanna balance that with the yellows. Just a little bit on the yellows too, because really the rock is just kind of screaming through when I up those two. Um, see if the greens, we want to do anything with that. Actually, yeah, I'm going to bring those up almost all the way. I really like right here, it looks like there's kind of this really unique light hitting it just kind of perfectly. So we got our before, after, and super simple edit, but that's it for that one, guys. So for the second photo at Shoshone Falls, this was taken on my Sony 1635 and it was 123 second exposure so just a little bit over two minutes um, shot at ISO 100 and f 5.0 so just for this edit I'm gonna remove chromatic aberration and profile corrections and then again just the base edit so this was probably just before sunrise like the start of it but mostly blue hour. Um, so the colors are, are definitely a little too blue. Um, I'm gonna crank the temperature of the white balance quite a bit, just so we can get something a little bit more that I'm into. It's a little too green though, so we'll try to balance it out. I'm just gonna mess with this till I find a spot I like. I think that's a good good little base for now. Um, I'm gonna bring up the luminance of the blues just to get some of that out of there. And I'm gonna do a lot of saturation on the warmer colors because I really want these rocks and uh, even like the wet rocks where it comes into orangish. Uh, I really want that to come through. So I'm gonna just crank a few of these. Thinks that looks pretty good. This water though has a little bit too much of a green vibe to it. So I've got my radial filter on. Just gonna try to get this over the water. I think I'm just gonna put the white balance of this to the blue side and invert. Sorry about that. Bring up the shadows just a little bit. I think that is pretty good. That's definitely definitely better. More what I'm going for. And then this guy, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna keep this in Photoshop just to keep it simple. So we have a radial filter, just gonna get over the sky. Just gonna drop the highlights invert again. Sorry about that. And then bring up the warmth. Bring up a little bit of magenta. Maybe a little bit of saturation. A little too magenta, so I'm gonna bring up more of the yellows. I think I'm pretty stoked on that. I still think there's a little bit weirdness to the colors, but I think it's just really the time of day that it was shot. Over here is a little bit more magenta than I'd like. So I do want to bring back the blues in that because that's the one part of the sky where there actually are still blues. I'm putting it at an angle just so I can affect as little of the photo as possible. I might drag it out a little bit, see if it blends with the sky nicely at all. Give it a little bit more angle in the sky. I think that actually definitely, definitely helps the photo. Even a, bit, a little bit of greens to get rid of that magenta. And I, I definitely like the sky a little bit more. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of aqua into those blues. 
just a little bit. And then I'm gonna bring luminance up maybe a touch. Pretty, pretty stoked on that. Last thing, I'm just gonna get a spot healing brush tool. Looks like there's some speck on my sensor right here. That's it for this episode, guys. I'm gonna keep it to two images for this episode, mainly because when I dive into Photoshop pretty deeply, it definitely takes longer than Lightroom and I have to definitely explain more thoroughly. So I'd rather keep those as uh, separate tutorial videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.